Hello, my beauties and bees, and welcome back to Cryptic Corner, where we explore the unexplained, the supernatural, the paranormal and hidden, the mysterious, the accursed, the alien and forbidden. I'm your host, Miss Bumblebree, and yes, I did just mess up my intro and flipped around alien and accursed. What are you going to do, though? I've only been doing this for years now, but I'm a little bit flustered. Is it because there's a ghost in my house? I don't know. I don't really believe in ghosts, do you? Let me know. I mean, let's start off right there, right here and there. It's October 5th. We're moving into spooky season. I'm going to ask the hive. I'm going to pull the hive right now and say, do you believe in ghost? All right. So we're going to be very simple pull. We're going to do yes, no, and undecided, okay? So those are your choices. Now, I very much used to believe in ghosts. Uh, I, I was a ghost hunter. Uh, I was a paranormal investigator. We went out with our little devices and cameras, and we hunted down ghosts and tried to find haunted locations and People would call us to come investigate their house that they reported paranormal activity in and tell us where they saw the apparition or what moved around their property. Um, and that jaded the hell out of me because once you've done that so many times, it kind of loses its thunder and you start to, you start to doubt folks uh, or you start to see certain veins running through things there's a there are two things that i always notice when it comes to these situations um the the entities sumami the entities so the the, the thing is is there's always it's either there, there's either two scenario one of two scenarios that i always that reoccur so many times the person was one, waking up and uh, or describe themselves waking up with a presence in the room, okay? Very common, uh, something I've experienced myself, sleep paralysis. Uh, the old hag, if you will, the little, little uh, ent entity or whatever, it's not this, that like your brain creates to harass you out of your sleep. <laughs> uh there's a lot of different scenarios that can lead to someone getting hacked and some people are more susceptible to it than others but it's a real phenomenon right people really experience and the other one the people would be priming themselves they were their experience was that they were going into the facility or the area expecting to experience the supernatural so every raccoon's a ghost in that scenario every gust of wind or flicker of light in the distance is going to be paranormal activity because you're primed for it. Now, there's one way to get around that, and that's by using cameras. Cameras can't be tripped, in a hypto, tripped into a hypnopompic state, right? Cameras can't be uh, lulled into uh, a primed brain state to... Uh, to feel like everything that happens around them is a supernatural occurrence. Camera, that doesn't happen to cameras. The problem is a lot of these haunted places don't necessarily have cameras in them. But some of them do. <laughs> some of them do, especially like the haunted hotels and office buildings and restaurants. Uh, not so much private homes, but sometimes they do. Uh, and sometimes they allegedly, emphasis on that word, they allegedly capture something on on camera they allegedly capture something and record it and share it around for all of us to see and today we are going to be looking at some uh some of these claims and looking at what they allegedly captured and i figure let's start right here uh this says it all ghost attack caught on security camera let's go Oh, hold on, let me catch up with the chat. <laughs> because I told you all to vote and then I didn't say anything um, anything back. 
Uh, no, with the caveat that there are, are clearly hallucina hallucinations brought on by sorrow or other strong emotes. Yeah, I don't think uh, ghosts exist outside the human mind. I guess I should clarify that because, yeah, someone can exper have a, a experience with a ghostly visit uh, because they're, they're because of their grief or something along those lines. I'm um, sure. Ghosts, their bollocks, says Spooky. And Spooky is a ghost, so Spooky would know better than anybody. John, you got to use the soft TP when you... <laughs> what? Oh, are we talking about John's butt? I don't... Okay. <laughs> I saw that earlier, and I didn't want to... I didn't want to press the issue. Uh, I, I... You know, sometimes, uh... Sometimes you have a good date. Okay, so you can't really chat. Who's your buddy? That's cool. We really appreciate you, though. Um, maybe invest in a bidet. Advise as soon as duly noted. Not, nah, but you can't apply filters. Uh, Bree, don't believe in me. Are you a ghost, Jester? Are you a ghost this morning? A ghost to yourself, I suppose. Hello, all. I hope you're having a great day, says Chris Mallard of the Daily Atheist. Good morning, Good morning, Chris. There uh, was a guy I knew who fancied himself a ghost hunter. He just yelled into the air, Are you there? And a truck used a Jake brake on the bypass. And he said, Did you hear that? I said, No. Yeah. We're probably going to get some of that today, I bet. <laughs> Let's get started. I don't know if this one has any sound or not. I think this one might be quiet. A real incident happened in an IT park. Okay, IT park. Looks like it's November 2015. So it's pretty old. Uh, okay. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see that again. So there's a shadow coming this way. Right there. You see it? Another. Boom, right there. It hits him as a shadow. Throws him down, drags him around the corner, and he gets up and runs away, and it comes after him. All right, due to some privacy reasons, we can't disclose the name and other details of the victim or the place. Oh, someone being attacked by shadow people in your building, and you don't want to tell us where it is? So what if I get attacked by shadow people? What if I'm going to a job interview there, and I'm like... Come around the corner and the shadow people jump me because you didn't give me proper warning that there were shadow people in this hallway. So you see his shadow come in there. I think that this is probably digitally edited if I had to speculate. Um, and he's doing some uh, pretty decent acting. Or the per uh, might be an actual person there that's been photoshopped out that's also a possibility that there is a that that shadow person is actually there, there is a, the, a real person there but they've been blended out using uh using pieces of the previous frames that's a real possibility too the only reason i don't think that that's the case and i think it's just acting is because the uh some of the way the guy the, the guy moves, some of the ways he responds and reacts to the to the uh, entity that's attacking him. I just, I mean, I'm really, I'm really thinking Photoshop here. Let's see, I was coming back to the office from the cafeteria, and as I reached a turning, I was horribly pushed back by some sort of invisible force, which I am still not able to describe how it is or what it how it is or what it actually was i don't know if that's a i describe how it is okay I, i'm not sure what he's trying to say there i mean i i, I pick up the, the message he's trying to put down i suppose and not even that pushed me it even held me tight towards the wall and lifted me up and then it tried to drag me toward it but Somehow I escaped from it, its attack, and hardly ran out of there. So my thing is, is it was pulling in the direction he was already going. So it's not like he was pulling him into some dark recesses. It was escorting him back to his, his office, 
um, his cubicle. I don't know. But it's going to go through it one more time and we're going to watch it. I think this one's in slow-mo. Yeah, so we're going to watch it nice and slow, frame by frame. Okay, his shadow comes into frame. And when it comes to the shadow person, I want to watch you watch this. Oh, there it was. I want you to watch this reflective. So this reflective piece of metal down here across the bottom, though, because there's windows behind us. You can see the light from the windows behind us. You can see where they're framed up, right? See where the windows are framed up in the, in the image behind him? You know that there's windows back there. They're, they're producing light, uh, and it looks like it's natural light, just based on the way that it's falling into the room, and especially based on the way it's reflecting off these metal panels down here. There is a baseboard panel that's, re that's stainless steel and reflecting. Now, as you see, you can see our gentleman's legs moving on in reflection of the stainless steel. When this entity moves, just, just watch. Just watch. Okay? So, you see his reflection on there. And you notice that it cuts off right above. So I'm gonna, it's already on slow mode. We're going to go down even slower. We're going to go down to... The 2.5 because there's no sound so it's not gonna be weird or anything so we're gonna go down and we're gonna watch it glide across and if you pay attention it cuts off above right above right above the reflection <laughs> oh boy uh and then it, it it vanishes of course from from frame at all when he's doing his struggling because it was too it would be too much editing to try to add that shadowy figure in there with his shadow but now it's re-emerged when he falls down so he goes down and it reforms is just a person doesn't also doesn't um Hmm. Peculiarly, well, no, there it is. I was going to say, he was, he's not really hitting too hard on that reflection, but I see him there. He's just deeper in it, into it than I was expecting him to be laying where he's at. Now, let's pay attention this next round. I'm going to do it again, and we're going to watch the reflections on the floor this time. Because this floor is also quite glossy. Right? Rounding the corner. Maybe I should draw attention to the fact that he's got double shadows here too. Because one of his shadows becomes the alleged entity, right? So you got a double shadow up here and a shadow down there and they're about to merge. All right, and so you get really close to merging. You've got double shadows. Whatever this is has no shadows at all. Or is a shadow. Or is the captured pixelation of the shadows <laughs> it's probably a better way to describe it all right he hits the ground and it drags him off yeah my main thing is this reflective baseboard <laughs> it's like <laughs> boom uh, Spooky says I'm too big to drag. That's good. <laughs> I'd let the ghost drag me just to see what it would do, said Native Atheist. <laughs> well, you may have noticed the jester stopped being a thingy uh, back when the castles fell out of fashion. Not true. I have a clown. I have a clown core persona. <laughs> I was actually thinking about introducing that as a character on the show. Maybe to do some shorts or something. Just do the... Like I need, I would need to write a whole bunch out so when I could put on the uh, <laughs> the red flags uh, 
character and uh, <laughs> and have some fun. I want to go troll creationist as that character is really what I want to do. Maybe I should go into, but th the thing is, as I go into Discord, I'm not, I'm not going to be on camera. <laughs> I need to go into places where I can be on camera. Uh, maybe not tell them I'm the same person, but it's pretty obvious who I am, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm the cyber specter of a jester. Sweet. Yeah, let the... Let, let the, uh, the ghost try to drag me back to my to my cubicle. Sure, it's not like it's dragging you on carpet and getting you a rug burn or anything. Bad touch, native. It's always a bad touch. So yeah, that's the thing too. The ghost did not get consent before it grabbed a hold of our friend here. It could have been a green bodysuit. Uh, we're erased, and then filtered was added with the footage. Yeah, it could have been. A, there's a few different ways that this can be done. Reminds me of the deputy that pretends he was in a gunfight. Yeah, the guy who shot with... Remember the guy who shot at the acorn last year? Last fall? It's almost acorn season now. Watch out. The cops are going to be opening fire. Uh, okay. I paid good money. I'm sorry. I lost my place. Do, do, do. I'm trying to be more interactive with you guys, though. I know there's a lot of you. <laughs> I still say if the if ghosts were real, it would it would just be grandpas and infants from before the 1920s. Uh, yeah, but the coxcomb went out of style, and now it's called the comedian. <laughs> I get what you're saying. I get you. Uh, yep, another person thinking Hoosier for the dropping it. Uh, so the guy was playing with his own shadow. Bree is some kind of detective. Of course, this is my superpower. Play this to Michael Jackson's thriller. The kid makes the kids make shorts like this, but it's actually pulled off way better. They are. I've seen some really good ones. Some really good uh, with cat. I love when they do the cabinets and the drawers opening. And we'll get there. We're gonna get there. This is just the first one. I've spent a long time on it just because. It's, this one was so much fun to um, to look at. <laughs> Brie, a.k.a. Sherlock Homegirl. Yeah, I'm totally in, an investigator. <laughs> I'm an investigative journalist, don't you know? Uh, that's his shadow. It's two light sources. Yeah, you can definitely see that. One up high and one down low. His shadow is split and rotoscoped. Um Potentially, that's another way that they could do this. That's sort of an old-fashioned way, but it, it's not not to say it's impossible with uh, using the right recording equipment. Um, I don't know if it's <laughs> Blonde Wayne Gacy. Uh, your clown character can be for the spooky segments, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Uh, clown, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's this one. Let's go see. The, let's see the next one because we've watched Home Homeboy get dragged quite a few times. So what's next? I think this one has sound. It's like a top five. So this list is a little bit longer. We got like nine minutes of this. Okay, is there sound? Oh, it's going in slow motion still. Herpa derpa. Let me put it back on normal speed. Welcome to five creepy CCTV recordings of possible <laughs> paranormal activity. And starting us off is a clip recorded on the 14th of February, 2014 at the 760. Oh, okay, so uh, I guess by the law of monophily, a jester isn't a clown, but a clown is a jester. Like, because a clown evolved from a jester. So you never outgrow your ancestors. So a clown would be a type of jester. But a jester wouldn't necessarily be a type of clown. But if you see a jester, it might be a clown because clowns are jesters. Not like birds are dinosaurs, clowns are jesters. I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> Three year old pub, Ye Olde Man Scythe in Bolton, Manchester. Pub manager Tony Dooley thought the pub was being burgled as he heard glass breaking downstairs, but after reviewing the CCTV footage, he discovered this mysterious flicking what? figure behind the bar. 
The recording also unexpectedly shut off for no apparent reason at 6.18am that morning. Tony said, I came down and saw a glass smashed on the floor so I was instantly suspicious and went to check the CCTV and found it had stopped working. We checked the footage and it revealed this figure. Okay, hold on. That's some Wait pretty creepy second. footage and up next be footed to February 2014 right. at the 763 year old oh, pub Ye Olde Man's I don't want to listen to him go wah, 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 but we're gonna slow you down flicker and figure perfect I saw you there we're gonna slow it all the way down because I want to watch this frame by frame all right all right You, sir, have a bat. Let's watch again, because you can see it move over here. When it moves down here, it's black. There it is, right there. See, it, it wings down. It's only catching it every every few frames. You, sir, have a bat in your bar. It comes fl fluttering with its, you see it when its wings go down right here. All right, watch. Right here. Comes fluttering in. There it is. Fluttering around in the background there. And then it comes into the light right about. There. Yep, flying towards the ceiling, wheels down. Yeah, it's probably setting off motion alarms if you have them. Yep, there's the bat. There's the bat. It's not a figure. It's a bat. It's not the figure. It's the bat. You have a bat in your bar, and that's what you're seeing. A fluttery little friend. It'll flying down here. You can see it wheeling. Did you see it? It's wheeling around down here. When the light's not on it, it looks black because it's a bat. When the light's directly on it and it hits it, there it goes. It wheels down here. Look. See, when the light's not on it, it, just look, it looks like a, a black moving through the dark. It's only when it gets right up underneath this light right here that it looks white like that. So that's where you're seeing the ghost. But <laughs> I ain't afraid of no ghost. But if you disagree with me, tell me in the comments down below. Tell me uh, what you think we're seeing here. Because I see a bat. <laughs> mm -hmm. flying, you can see it flying low and it's dark. When it flies high, it's white. Yeah, it circles it. Yes, that's, that's the bat with its wings down. Bats fly with their wings like that. They <laughs> bat wings down. <laughs> And this is from 2014. All right. Let's speed it back up to normal and then move on to the next one. And it revealed this figure. That's some pretty creepy footage. And up next, we have footage from a Brookshire side theatre in Romford, Essex. This footage shows a chair appearing to move apparently on its own. And to make things even worse, this supernatural behaviour happened after a psychic medium had been on stage earlier that night. The theatre's manager, Mr. Seeple, said a lot of weird things had happened at the theatre over the years, but this is easily the freakiest thing he has ever seen. Chair moves. Some moths flying around. No, we're not done with it. Hold on. Yorkshire Side Theatre in Romford, Essex. This footage shows a chair appearing to move apparently on the its own. And to make things one, even worse, the problem with this one is I have no timestamp anywhere telling me if this is time-lapsed footage or not. Because a possum or a cat, a little critter, could get in there and be snuffling around, pushing furniture, uh, trying to get towards some popcorn someone dropped under a chair or something. <laughs> Those kind of things. Those kind of things happen. Are we are you still arguing about mimes and clowns and jesters? <laughs> Do 
Jesters are just the old timey version. A clown makes a fool of himself. A jester makes a fool of the audience. Mm. Nah, clown is literally. Comes from jester. That's where the tradition with the style of performance. Yeah. Uh huh. They're both mimes. Um, and then Lockbeard showed up and behave yourself. I'm sure you're going to behave yourself. <laughs> and clowns come from jesters. Jesters came from a much older Greco Roman miming. Pantomime. Yeah. They weren't even called mimes back then. They were called pantomimes. <laughs> but I'm not a pantomime because I'm a loudmouth. I like to talk. The bat probably keeps their roaches under control and gnats. Well, you saw uh, like there was moths and stuff flying around. Well, that's this one. Never mind. Um, I like the nail. Our chairs down, preferably to the ceiling, Calasia says. Brian. Yeah. I don't this think supernatural like behavior that. happened after a psychic medium had been on stage earlier that night. I got evidence coming out. In just a few, in a few short weeks, that'll tell, that'll blow you all out of the water. When we find out, actually, it's on the 18th of October, so we're all going to find out that the true origin of clowns is that they're nephilim. So, yeah, you're everybody's wrong. We're all wrong because they're fallen angels, don't you know? So hit the bell for this one because it's a wild ride and you can see me in my full red flags uh outfit so check that out all right the theater's manager mr Seeple, said a lot of weird things had happened at the theater over the years but this is easily the freakiest thing he has ever seen yeah without without Clear footage. I don't know what could be crawling around under these chairs, but a rat could even move uh, move the chair if it's that desperate to get a piece of popcorn or something. This next footage is from a Wingate Hotel in Illinois. Recorded on September the 14th, 2003, the hotel security manager stated that people one. staying at the hotel <laughs> began calling in John, noise complaints John, to the front desk with reports John. of loud screaming John's coming from the in. second floor, particularly <laughs> room 209. One. No recordings have ever been caught of the screams until after a complaint, this footage was recorded. Don't go in, John, they say. Yeah, John, John says he hears the screaming coming from that room. John and hears I hear it too. <laughs> but, uh, but we're sure that no one's checked into that room. Correct? Uh, John, just wait. Uh, we're gonna John, just wait, he says. We're going to call the police. <laughs> just, I, I would wait for the police, John. John, wait for the police. John! John's, uh, John's going to enter the room real quick. Just check. Make sure, uh, see what's going on. Wait, one. Oh, did you see that? John, but we're sure that no one's checked into that room. Hold on. Correct. Uh, we're gonna get a hold of the police, so. Watch. Just, I, I would wait for the police, John. Right after he steps hey, John's, in. Uh, John's gonna enter the room Sorry, real quick. Sorry. John goes in. Uh, see what's going on. Wait one. Then allegedly that's the ghost leaving. You see it coming down the hall. Watch right there. See it. More looks like more looks like it's a puff of steam maybe. That's what I get. Which makes sense when he says the next line here. Yeah. We can't hear what John's saying. Lights flicker. John, are you there? 
ways in there. So if the shower's oh, nobody's in there. If the shower's on, that would explain. If the shower's on, that would explain that puff of steam coming out of there. Man, that's that's scary. I'm uh, officially freaked out now. <laughs> Poof. Just a puff of steam from the shower, maybe. The thing is, is he didn't, obviously he didn't turn the shower off because this is the hotel room's the standard layout that we're all used to. This is the bathroom door right here. Because the bathroom door is right in, in hotel, most hotel rooms like that are laid out like this. The bathrooms are in these front sections here. Uh, and the shower is probably back in the back of this and you never see the guy step in there. This is the carpet's all torn up. <laughs> and the furniture's upside down. But when was the last time anybody was in there? Yeah? Right. Number two. Now there's not much information on this case, but in the early hours of November the 1st, 2012, security guards at an office in Manchester were flicking through the cameras when apparently they caught this ghost causing havoc in the office. I love this one too. Okay. That's good pull string work, I think. Probably upholstering uh, to the bottom of this chair. Maybe locked onto the back. Um, make sure, making sure it stays the right direction. Beyond this doorway, the string's going under the door. That's my speculation here. Kalisha, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Let's stop with the gesture clown mime. <laughs> Guys, they're all Nephilim. They're all Nephilim. It doesn't matter. You're going to find out. Click on that link that I dropped there and hit the, the, the thing and it'll remind you to come watch the show for Cryptic Corner, I believe it is. Keep in mind, string work doesn't have to be straight on. It can, there can be several pivot points. Someone could be pulling this chair that way from the same place behind that door as this one did. Just with the correct, like, maybe it, it could go all the way up, around, back, and then in, around this pole. Around, all the way around the room. It could, I'm just saying potentially, I'm not saying it does. But it could potentially go all, wrap all the way around this room, go under the windows all the way down this wall and come around this pillar column right here and pull that chair as well. That, that's, you know, when you're doing pull strings, you can go all different directions. Hey, Kalasia, bought some more channel memberships. Thank you so much. That's 10 more, 10 channel memberships gifted. One to Sumami, one to Blaster Master 80, one to Hunter Biden's laptops. One to 30 of 50 annoying feral <laughs> peckery newsletter. Uh, native atheist. Oh, um, native atheist just saying, uh, yay, Kalasia. I love you, girl. <laughs> uh, I love you, AV. Uh, Tilting Windmill uh, was gifted a membership. Uh, Jefferson Spatchcock, Wild World, Paul Cherry, uh, Cosmic Kyle, Captain Ice Age. Yay! Welcome to the hive, everybody. Wait a second. Hold on. 
Second one moves. Something moved over there too. Watch. Watch under this desk right there. See right there? Okay. Watch under. You can't see why I'm pointing under. Okay. Watch under this desk right here. Right, here. right there. See it? sense for those light sources that that would be the shadow from that chair. Something else is moving there. Right there. See? You just gotta look at them. You gotta look at them close and you'll find, uh, you'll find out how they do this stuff. But, the strange thing is, when it goes from this angle, oh, when it goes from this angle, there's, uh, desk and equipment along this wall. But when it switches over, there's just a pillar there. Maybe this is a different room, but it seems like they're trying to imply that it's the same. It might happen in the same space. Screens flash. Okay. With us, I want get. I want does get. <laughs> what? I want a will. I want a pension. I want life insurance. Okay. And I'll keep your eye on these handles here. And the neat trick to this is you just have someone stand inside and move the handle up and down. This is all happening, just to keep in mind, at 3 a.m. At 3 a.m. on Halloween in 2012, right? Well, no, not on Halloween. Uh, I was looking at, looking at those, well, maybe, yeah. It could be Halloween. It depends on if this is in the UK or the US. If this is 11-1, uh, if this is October or November 1st, 2012, this is happening 3 a.m. after Halloween. If this is 111, it's happening. If this is January 1st, it's happening in December or in, uh, in the middle of the winter. Nothing special about that. But if it was happening on the morning after. Driving by, oh, close the door. There's a pull string. Uh, can be done for that. Ooh. There's strings for that too. What I miss? What I miss? I turned away from that. It doesn't even show you what you missed. The papers are falling. Wow, you see it thrown. This is what we were talking about earlier. We get where things get thrown across the room. <laughs> and where did that come from? Where'd that one come from? Where did 
did you come from, little paper explosion? It's like it was coming out of the ceiling. I don't know. It's one of these stacks, maybe getting getting catapulted. That's a possibility, but. That was some uh, evil dead like. Mm. Mm. Is it? Oh, is that door handle going to? Got that door handle down there going to it. Okay. Maybe that's the door that closed in that last frame. This door here. This door down here into the hall. That way. No, maybe the hall structure different. Must be a totally different door. In the little window on that far door, right? All the doors close, and then, sh and then the shadow moves away. So. Shadow's there. The whole time this is going on. Right? Over that glass window. Doors close, and then it moves away. What are we seeing, guys? It's all... And last but definitely not least is CCTV footage from a blockbuster store in Mexico. This store is said to be haunted and many employees have reported time. feeling breath on their necks, hearing unexplained noises and seeing objects being moved. And now they have the video evidence to back their reports up. And the fact that there's no sound on this, there's actually a few things you could do. So you, pull strings are probably the easiest, especially with this angle. You could have a pull string completely out of view, and you've got something right around the corner. They wouldn't even have to be far. It's on the other side of that, uh, on the other side of that shelf. The guy needs to be stepping over the string there, though. But he'd have to be in on it. Um, you got stuff falling, right? Watch, so watch over here, it falls. Now that can be done with string. It can be done with somebody behind there just uh, poking it hard enough in the right spot. <laughs> structure of what's behind this we can't really see. It could easily be space enough to stick your fingers through. Yeah, they're all falling. Dude's like, hey, <laughs> you know what? I'm done. So that's it, five creepy CCTV recordings of possible right. paranormal activities. We all have our own beliefs, but no one knows for sure what is real or not. All we can do is keep an open mind about things. What you are about to see are haunted events. Hold on, I didn't catch all that. Encountered by real people, some may find disturbing. Be warned, Hive! And it's got some kind of like Mortal Kombat ninja guy. Oh. Ghost spirits in the hospital. Oh, this one's fun. Yeah, watch this. <laughs> this is 2014. It's July 20th. I have just turned 31 the week before. <laughs> and it floats away. Floated 
away. It have floated. They're gonna slow mo it for us. There was some spooky music, but I'm gonna take that music away because I don't trust it. At least take it away most of the way. <laughs> And we're supposed to believe that this is not manipulated in any way that this hospital captures a ghost that is wearing all the same clothes that this, this person's supposedly wearing. Like, if you're... So if you're in a hospital gown when you die, are you in, are you in a hospital gown in the afterlife forever? Is that the, is that the idea? Uh, single normals are hard to find. Paranormals are even harder. <laughs> oh, you knew that video store? Look at the trees. <laughs> it set up as a blockbuster. <laughs> I'm not, uh... Yeah, that one was goofy and silly. Next! What you are about to see, or, okay, same thing, same disclaimer. I think this is another shadow person attack. Damn it, my coffee's got cold too. I'm gonna go get some more. So we see legs coming down the stairs there. Couple of bros. They get mauled by a ghost in the corner. This is sort of the same kind of stuff we looked at earlier. So let's see. And actually, I think they may be a couple. Is it swinging something? Okay, so they, because I see, like, look up here. What is that? Right here. Like, it's got a bat in its hand. Hmm. interesting they don't have shadows along that back wall at least not much of shadows you can see a little bit of reflection right here this wall bottom portion of the wall is glossy so we can see their reflections but there's no shadow so this is almost like unlike the other one where it was like oh it's supposedly capturing the entity's shadow on the wall I guess this is supposed to be like a smoky like ethereal black figure is actually within the space and not a shadow on the wall reflecting something invisible attacking you. And it disappears right there. The fact that whoever's that is is hmm could they be could there be someone down at the bottom of the stairs throwing something at them and the there's the front doors at the bottom of the stairs that's allowing this person to cast a shadow but it's awful dark in this corner Honestly, I just think it's photoshopped. Yeah. And you kind of see when it vanishes here, it moves back into the corner that there's some shadow
Mm. And the shadow is only cast on that reflective surface except for This is another person getting attacked by a bat. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna watch frame by frame. Why they got it moving so fast? If this... wow, that's moving fast for her. we're at point two five speed right now. I don't even see anything where they're saying it. Oh, I guess I do a little bit. But it, it doesn't move from that frame. It, it appears in that frame and then it reappears over in this frame. And. What? When it gets. Up here. It raises something. Or well, there's a shadow of something up here, but it stays mostly below this reflective surface line, even when our guy was above that line. It stays below. And... Trying to figure out what direction this reflection down here is going to be coming from. But you, yeah, you do see it above the line here. Okay, I was wrong about that. It's it's heads above the line right there. Okay. Hmm. But it seems like it, it's not going to appear on this point here. And it did go around the corner there. It just went around the corner where you couldn't see where the stairs were blocking. <laughs> yeah, if you want to buy me a coffee, you can buy me a coffee. My coffee's actually gotten cold. I'm going to have to go refresh it here. I think that we've uh, looked at this one quite enough. Let's see what's next. Alien caught creature caught on camera. Well, this is supposed to be a ghost episode, but we'll see what you have. We'll see what your alien is. Maybe it's alien, a ghost alien. I like that tower. What are you looking at? Where's our alien? I guess we were supposed to have seen it. Oh, is it up there maybe in the tower? I hope it's in that tower. They'll circle it for us and tell us what bush is supposed to be an alien. <laughs> okay. Um, what? The white figure? I don't even know if that's a person and not just a reflection of light. There's a person working on this van right here, so there's a person standing there. That's a bit of a stretch, homie. That just could be some spray paint or just colored, um, could be worn down from people touching it. 
light could be hitting it different because it's bent a different way. I'm not even sure what the material is. It doesn't look like wood, though. And it shifts as you move. So it's flat, whatever it is. It's not three-dimensional. Yeah. No, not convincing. Are you going to get closer to it, though? I'll let you get closer and see, what you can, see if you can convince us. Alright, one car, some bushes, and slowing it down because our alleged alien is right there, <laughs> center frame, and as you can see, two-dimensional, <laughs> two-dimensional, so it's the ghost of, uh, what's it, the paper? Oh, yeah. Paper Johnny or whatever. The character that was flat. <laughs> flat flat Johnny? I don't remember the character's name. Alright. Yeah, I think that that's... That's that one. <laughs> really disappointing. <laughs> We're almost out of time for Cryptic Corner anyway, but that's all right. Same disclaimer. This one's a little bit longer though. I've got eight minutes here. Okay, car. This is 2020 in August. Someone walking. Mm hmm, this is like a prank. If you go all the way back to that car, I'm gonna be annoyed because that's way too far back. Yeah, okay, just the guy walking. Okay, so she's there. Okay, when does she appear? Right there. Why does she poof into existence though? <laughs> Let's see it without the circle around her. Does she poof then? Now there's some movement up there before she appears. Looks like maybe a, that's when the light really catches her though. And they try to like make it like she's teleporting, but. <laughs> Watched that one and do it in slow mo. And she's gonna poof right in front of him, right there. He turns around and darts up this driveway. Is that all you got? This is like some, uh, yeah, as John Hudson says, fake as F. <laughs> what does the car have to do with anything, though? Besides maybe they dropped her off. <laughs> like, okay, they stopped right there, dropped her off, and then went on their way. But this has another video in it. This will probably be the last one we watch, this eight minute video for Cryptic Corner. But don't worry, we have more show to come for my life from the hive peeps. Okay, so this is also on... This is the day before the last video, August 2nd, 2020. It's the middle of the, of the day. Uh, well, not the middle of the day, towards the end of the day. 
517. And there's a woman in the bottom left holding the baby. And bouncing the baby. Somebody comes out and she's talking to him about something up high. Points up at the ceiling. She goes into the door. Okay. What are we supposed to be spooked out by? These ones have been so far pretty. Is it this? Is, please tell me it's not this reflection on the door right here. Just don't be silly. That's a reflection on the door. Do you ever circle? Okay, so it's something in this back room then. Okay, guy comes out of the room. Woman goes into the room. Oh, is that like a head? It's supposed to be a head. This is obviously someone's, like, living space, right? So, is there another door over there where that could be a shadow of someone walking around in there? Come on now. Zoom in on it. Okay, so guy comes out, the person with the baby goes in. Okay. If you like watching me investigate and debunk these things, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel. We can uh, tackle more more silly ghost videos. So I guess the idea is it's got a white outfit and then dark hair. But it sure does look like an artifact. <laughs> Trying to resolve the change in the lighting in that room. Because people moving around and opening doors either in this space or inside that space there. But I can't be sure. Because the pixel quality, I mean this is like... Less than, less than 420, you can see the pixels. But, you see a shift in lighting. Right there. Everywhere there's a shift in lighting, not just in that room, but out here as well. When she turns to look at us. Change in lighting right there. Did you see it? I saw it. All right. Well, how many do we get through? Some of these were longer, though. We got about halfway through. Not even halfway through. We got one, two, three. Well, see, these were long, though. There's two of them that were... These two together could have been a whole episode of Cryptic Corner by themselves. We're already five minutes over on the normal time frame. Could have done without this one, though. There's, there's more to come. Um, and we may continue this, this list sometime in the near future. So, matter of fact, I'm going to copy it.
and save it to my place where I save. So I've got that saved so we can revisit this later and go through maybe some of the rest of these as, uh, as time allows. But I may do like a member. Actually, I may do that. Uh, and since I got just a whole bunch of new channel members, I may do a um, the rest of these just as a channel member exclusive. And I might actually do that later today. I don't know yet. Um, so if I decide to, I'll put, I'll put out an announcement I'll try to put out an announcement a couple hours before the channel members so that they know if they want to come watch it, uh, where it's going to be. Now our poll did turn up that we have, um, 69% of people in, in the hive don't believe in ghosts. Um, 15% do in fact believe that ghosts exist and then, we had 15% that did uh, that that didn't they know for sure whether or not ghosts were real. My background music. I have a custom track for the cryptic corner background music. This one. Hold on. Where are you? This song right here. That's the cryptic corner theme. That is my custom song. Yeah. Usually it always plays in the background. You just notice it today. <laughs> um, yeah. I didn't change the, well, I did, I done, it was probably on 52, now it's on 46, but. I think it would sound better at 46. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so. Uh, we are going to continue down the, the spooky spiral for the rest of the month here. Uh, I also have something scheduled with Ember later this month. Well, we're going to get a little witchy with it. So check that out as well coming up here. Um, and I just recently did a thing with Vandalia 1998 talking about slugs. So if you like slugs, go check that out. Please remember to be kind, take care, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>